Hi, GI TV. Bob the Axeman Hildebrand again today with the myth, the legend, the wonderful thing, John Liu. <laughs> That's right. That's what I'm going to say every time. So, Red Storm just ended, except for the raffle. How do you feel? Oh, man. The battle I saw out there, there are a lot more battles this year, Fierce mm -hmm. Firefights. I, I've never seen this in Airsoft. Saw duels. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Guys walking toward each other. Oh. And they both call it. That was fantastic. I mean, you know, it's airsoft. You're always going to have the douche who don't call it. It's inevitable. You know, anybody who said everything's perfect, it, nothing's They're ever lying. perfect. Yeah. But, you know, you go for the best. And uh, we saw a lot of good teamwork in there. Um, unfortunately for the U.S. side, the Renegades really pulled us one off in the big way. Yeah, you yeah, guys, you guys yeah. fall hard. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I want to ask you, uh, we did something new this year at Red Storm where um, we use these, uh, not tanks, but Jeeps and other such mm -hmm. things as Little Bird helicopters and C-130s. How do you think that affected the gameplay? That made it more fun because last year there were so many choke points. Mm -hmm. The uh, U.S. and Russians clashed, but then they couldn't go around. Yeah. And this this year with the vehicles, they could fly around and drop troops in the back. That was frustrating. Yeah. Yeah, yeah added a different dimension. Little force, you know, uh, unfair for USI is invading force. They're spec up so they have fewer people. Um, but you know what? It makes sense. You're invading Rojo's territory. We're gonna have of more course, people. Of course, you're gonna have more people. Um, but the, the battle uh, for a Renegade, which is amazing. It you was guys very fun. Great. Yeah. Uh, well, any plans for Red Storm 3? We don't know what how this place is gonna yeah, work yeah. out. And every time we come here, we always think of it as the last time. But here's the game plan. If we get to come back here, Red Storm 3, it's gonna be Battle of the Warlords. It's not gonna be Warlord versus US. It's gonna be War the Prof versus Warlord blank. We'll find out next year. All right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> are there any new games you want to plug that are coming up that you can tell our viewers about? Operation Bulldog, April 15th, the very last Bulldog in Texas. Um, a lot of people ask me why uh, it's too long a story to get into, but it's the last Bulldog in Texas. Um, there are a lot of Marine units who can uh, use the money. You know, Bulldog is part of fundraiser, so we can, you know, move around, donate money to the Marine units, so far and so on. Lion Claws can. Of course, that's insane. That's uh, mount, right? Yeah, mm. that, that's all extreme mount. Uh, definitely not for first timers. And yeah. uh, New Horizon, April the second. AirsoftGIAVIC.com registration only, so don't miss out. Uh, now, I was just informed last night where Lion Claws Ten is going to be. Can you tell our viewers real quick? It's going to be in Victorville, former George Air Force Base housing track. Um, we stepped up. We came up with the five million dollars insurance. We paid through the nose because we want to show the people there. Airsoft community is an honorable community. Um, we do it by the book. We pay whatever it needs to pay. This is what I always tell the viewers out there. You know, a lot of guys think it's funny to trespass. It really is not because you could get shot by real cops or real bullets and that's never fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it makes all airsoft guys look bad. So please do not trespass on private property. And uh, see, we're doing it by the book. We're doing it right. So they'll take us seriously. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I can say without a doubt, I've never seen so many airsoft grenades used in one weekend. <laughs> Thank you so much, John Lou. I really appreciate you putting the time and effort. All right. Yeah. Take care. Please use your airsoft guns responsibly. Do not shoot at any unsuspecting people or animals. Don't ever look down the barrel of your airsoft gun. And keep your finger off the trigger unless you're ready to fire. Treat your airsoft guns like they're real firearms.